Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're bringing you today's video to explore their custom visual known as the dumbbell chart. Now, this chart is fantastic for looking and exploring the relative position between two points over time, seeing things like growth or decline. Also, you can compare the difference between two categories. Maybe looking at something like sales, uh, sales over sales difference. Um, year over year sales difference per subcategory. Things like these are fantastic ways to take advantage of this custom visual, the dumbbell chart. Now, it should be noted that this is an R based visual. It uses that R programming language. So, there are some R package dependencies that are required to leverage and use this custom visual by MAQ software. But what's fantastic is when you are downloading and installing this from the custom visual marketplace, this does happen automatically. But just in case, if for any odd reason this does not occur, you can go visit MAQ Software's GitHub page, which they have a fantastic guide on walking through on how to install any needed R dependencies for their very many visuals that use that R programming language. So let's go ahead and head over to Power BI and explore their custom visual, the dumbbell chart. So here we are over in Power BI. We're seeing this custom visual. This is the dumbbell chart that we see right in front of us. And as we can see, as we select this visual and bring it in and look at what's available to us for mapping, we have two fields for supplying data. Firstly, the category and measure. Now, both of these are mandatory, but there are some variations on what we can do in the measure area. And we'll talk about that momentarily. But the category field, it only accepts a single value, and this should be a categorical type and namely should be unique. As you can see, we have our list of manufacturers listed here. As far as the measure field, we can accept any type of measure. And actually, you can have in this location either one measure or up to a maximum of four measures in here. So you can see in this current example, we only have two. And we're looking at the difference between two different values over time. And that's what we're seeing being plotted right inside the plot area here. The measures. It's going to populate the data itself, will populate the range, which is going to be in our x axis. And each dot, which is represented within the legend, symbolizes here and is connected by a line. Hence, we get the name the dumbbell chart. As you can see, also, when we hover over anywhere in the plot area, we have this fantastic usage of widgets. This comes available with the usage of this R based visual. And we can do zooming. You can notice with this tool itself, I can actually highlight a specific section if I wanted to. And we could zoom in on that specific location. Um, if we wanted to highlight and emphasize specific points of data. Anytime you manipulate, you do any zooming, all you need to do is double click anywhere inside the visual and this will reset this back to default. And of course, as we mentioned before, what's fantastic is we can add multiple measures in here. As we can see, there are two in this visual. Over here, we can see here is a visual that displays with four measures and as well with three measures respectively. And of course, we are in control of many of the different formatting elements within this custom visual. So we go ahead and we select that visual itself and we head over to the formatting area. We can see we have quite a few choices here. We're really focused on the top four here. The colors is going to dictate what are going to be the colors for the four potential measures we can have. Remember, has to have, you have to have one measure minimum, but you can have up to four. And then as well for each of the connectors. So here, this is this grayish color is going to be the connector of the line between measure one and two. This is between two and three, three and four respectively. So you can control and dictate exactly how this is going to be presented here. As well, if we go to the x axis, you can toggle on and off the actual label itself. Just remember, this is an R based visual. So when we make a change here, you need to give the visual a moment to evaluate the information and then it will uh, display itself. So just give it a just as you saw a fraction of a second there. And you, that setting will be applied. But both for the x, the y axis, we can add in custom titles, disable labels if we so choose, and also dictate the color of the title itself. Now, as we can see, the legend does portray and indicate the measures that we've indicated in the value section, in the measure section here. So we can either have that enabled or disabled. It is on by default, which tends to be the most common use case here. Lastly, as you can see within this example just here, when a measure has the name, when the name of the measure leverages numerical values, in this case I have are my years as being the name of this measure itself. It actually is led. We put a leading X in front of that as far as within the legend itself. 
It should be noted if also the name of the measure has any blank spaces in there, they're going to get replaced with a period in the legend. So you have that all connected in that form and fashion. So I hope you enjoy this exploration of the dumbbell chart by MAQ Software. Thanks for watching our video. And if you have any questions about this visual or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ Software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at PragmaticWorks by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com. Take care.